So last week at three o'clock in the morning, I was on Amazon and I found these heavy duty shelves. And look at how many server rack batteries we can fit inside. And they're much cheaper than a traditional server rack. And these are in stock. A lot of the other ones have been sold out. And it's very easy to build. The hardest part is actually putting these batteries on the shelf. So right here we have five, five kilowatt hour server rack batteries. So that means you can put 25 kilowatt hours in each shelf. If we loaded up the bottom shelf, we would have 50 kilowatt hours right here. But wait, there's more. And you can stack them on top. This is a trophy server rack battery, 220 amp hour, 48 volt. And this thing can hold a ridiculous amount of weight. So the total max capacity is 4,500 pounds. And each shelf can handle 1,500 pounds. Right now with this shelf fully loaded with server rack batteries, it's only 600 pounds. So we're not even doing half of what this thing can handle. Now let's do a quick price and size comparison. So first the Signature Solar Server Rack. It is $500, but it is very nice and it comes with a copper bus bar. And the max capacity is 30 kilowatt hours. Next is the SOK Server Rack. This is $150. So this is the cheapest one of the bunch, but you can only hold 20 kilowatt hours. Now for $50 more, you can get this. And you can stack up 50 kilowatt hours in whatever you can put on the top. And you can actually stack these on top of each other. So you could put like 100 kilowatt hours if you had two of them, but that would be very hard to load the batteries on the top shelf. So if you can do it, then great, but I, I wouldn't do that. By the way, I loaded this one up all by myself and I'm gonna show you how. Look how high this thing goes. So these are pretty expensive, but I use this every single day. This is how I build all of these systems all by myself. And this one can hold 350 kilograms. This thing's like 300 pounds, like this piston, like it's a massive tool. And like I said, I use it every single day. I moved a water softener. I moved, I move everything with this. I love it. Also, as you guys know, I love putting LV6548s and 6048s 60 on top of server racks. This is an all-in-one solar power system and it fits perfectly. But with this, you could put like two on here, maybe even three. You could even put two 6048s on top. Like there is so much room here. Also, this was easier to build than the server racks. Also, you'll notice how these arms attach. You could put a second shelf over here and stack them on top like I mentioned a second ago. So very nice, like this is great, 200 bucks. Can you believe that? Now, previously we had a wire rack in this corner and it worked really well. A lot of people said, oh, you're exceeding the weight limit, Will, and they were absolutely false. That rack could actually handle more than double the weight that I put on it. And I used to use it for cycling grade B and grade A raw lithium iron phosphate cells. And they're sitting right here and in this corner as well. Now the total capacity of those cells is 30 kilowatt hours. And right here we have another shelf and we have an LV6048, which does 240 volts in and 240 volts out. And this is my workshop car charging station. So what we're going to do is build a massive uninterruptible power supply with my used cells. And it's quite simple, really. We're just going to slap this shelf right below these car chargers. We're going to put those cells on the two bottom shelves, put the inverter charger on top, and then wire it all up. That way, if my main solar power system goes down, I'll still have 30 kilowatt hours that I can charge my cars with. Also, we're using NEMA 650 for both EV chargers, and there's a NEMA 650 plug right here. So wiring this up should take like less than an hour. It should be very easy. Now that's pretty much it for this video, but I have a lot of other really cool videos that I'm working on over there. I can't show you guys. I'm waiting for the release date for some of these new products. But I think this, with some of the new products that are coming out, will work really well together. Um, anybody could build it and it would be really nice. Now, if you have a better solution than this for the price, please let me know. Look how lucky I got with the width. Like it fits these batteries perfectly and it looks cool. So I personally think it's awesome. So I'll talk to you soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye.